According to the agreement, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu will delay his goal of annexing parts of Judea and Samaria, Israel's biblical heartland. But he said he would not give up declaring that sovereignty off his agenda or give up Israel's right to the land. In 2018, CBN News traveled to the UAE with a delegation of U.S. evangelical leaders, led by Christian author and Middle East expert Joel Rosenberg, to meet with the country's Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Saeed. Rosenberg believes this peace agreement will be much different than Israel's peace deals with Egypt and Jordan. The peace deal that's emerging between the United Arab Emirates and Israel, I think, is going to be dramatically better richer, warmer, as it were, than the previous peace deals with Egypt and Jordan. I think this is going to actually become the model of what a peace treaty can be. And I think we're going to see more in, uh, in, in you know, in the not too distant future. Those countries could include Bahrain, Oman and Morocco. A major factor bringing Israel and the UAE together is their common enemy, Iran. Iran is going to go ballistic over this deal. And what, what we have to pray as Christians uh, all over the world is they don't literally go ballistic. President Trump said he will be inviting both Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and Crown Prince Mohammed Ben Zayed to the White House soon to formally sign the agreement. Alpha, Omega.